Hey guys, it's me here. I knew that I would do a Q&A and answer some of your questions that you guys had left me in one of my live videos on Facebook. So here I am. Um, to it. The first question comes from Danielle Palmer and she says, hey, do you think your life would be different if you didn't do 16 and pregnant? You were one of my favorites. Well, thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Um, I think some of it would have been different. Um, obviously, like, being in the media, um, people, uh, like, recognizing me out in public and the kids and stuff, all that would probably be different, most likely. Um, but I don't think it would be much different, because life is pretty normal. <laughs> um, next question is from Sarah Roberts. Sarah asked... How has your life changed, and how old are the boys? They are cute. Thank you. They are cute. But you don't live with them, so parents can understand. <laughs> no, they're adorable. Um, my life has changed drastically, and it is about to change once again. There is so many wonderful things coming this year um, for our little family. But, it boy, has it changed. I mean, we went from, well, one, me being 16 and pregnant with twins, to being in a abusive relationship, to moving halfway across the country to get away from somebody, um, from fighting court, having court issues, um, and fighting the legal system, to moving back home, and all of our legal stuff, being over finally and just living our normal life thank god <laughs> my dog's always bark I swear but thank god so I'm now married happily married um, for four and a half years I've been married for four and a half years um, have a third child his name is Sebastian so I have Josh Noah and Sebastian um, we've got what we have a lot of animals <laughs> we have Two dogs, Bella, which you guys saw in my episode. I have Scooby, who we adopted about almost three years ago now. Um, and then we have a cat named Batman, who we adopted a year ago, almost a year and a half ago. And then we have a pig named Domino, who we adopted three months ago. Um, we have our own house, and we are also moving because we just bought some land to put a house on um, and live there. So we are super excited about that. So yeah, life has changed drastically. Um, Deb L. No, no, Novel, Novel, sorry, I suck at names. Um, Deb asks, do the boys get to see their father? Okay, um, yes, Josh and Noah get to see Josh. Um, they get to kind of see him whenever he's available and if it kind of works with our schedule. He doesn't have visitation, um, nothing set in stone in court that will never happen. Um, but the boys do see him, they do talk to him. Um, again, Sarah Roberts asked if, is Josh in their lives or what happened to him? He was rude and mean. So, let me kind of catch you guys up. Because I don't think I've done, like, an update video. And I probably should. <laughs> um, but, Josh, yes. Josh is in their life. He's not full-time in their life. Um, but, he's in their life. His life has been a little rocky for the last couple of years. Especially the last two years um so there's been like a lot of in and out with him he's now trying to get his life steady get things together so he could work on having a bigger part in Josh and Noah's life um so yeah that's what Josh is doing <laughs> um I've, a lot of people ask about you know if the boys see him if they have a relationship with him um how our court stuff battled out. 
And I'm just going to answer that real quick just so I don't have to like answer them in a bunch of different questions. Um, so what happened was many years ago <laughs> about six, I don't know, maybe five years ago, six, I don't know. We're just going to say six years ago. Um, six years ago, we were in really a really big domestic dispute um, where cops were called multiple times and there was multiple restraining orders and whatnot. Um, and a lot of you are aware that I had took off with my kids and moved to Chicago. All 100% true. Um, and I know that there's also like article headlines and whatever else that say that I wasn't supposed to go and Josh said I wasn't supposed to go and um, a lot of people talk about custody and I'm the mom and he has father rights and whatever else. So to get that cleared up as well, um, we were not married, we were never married, so Josh had zero rights until he took me to family court and fought for that. Um, and received that. Um, till then, he had no rights whatsoever. Um, he tried to go through court um, through a restraining order to try to get custody of Josh and Noah. Um, and we, or my attorney, fought through that through the court. Um, they granted him every other weekend with Josh and Noah. Um, and we're trying to grant him full custody, which in the state of Florida, you're not allowed to grant custody um, and do any kind of um, custody dispute in a domestic violence court. It has to go through family court. Um, and that's what Josh and his attorneys were trying to do. Um, so with that said, yes. Um, so with that said, Yes, Josh was right. I had no right to leave the state um, myself or with my children. With a restraining order in place, I could not leave. It was against the law for me to leave. It was against the law for me to leave the county. Um, and it was against the law for me to leave the county with Josh. No, without asking Josh and having it in like a written consent from him. Um, and that's where he was correct. But the whole custody thing, he was incorrect about. Um, so, yes, I was in a lot of trouble <laughs> leaving and whatever else. Um, it was all dropped, so nothing crazy happened. But um, he was not allowed um, any rights because the court he went through couldn't do that. Um, if anything, he could have had me in jail up to a year for leaving against a court order um and that would have been very difficult anyway so I'm not going to get into all of that because it's just a big cycle but it was a huge huge mess but it was eventually all dropped um and um I ended up going to court in Chicago after I had um lived there for a year and one full custody up in Chicago um, due to Josh not contacting the court at all. Um, then I moved back to Florida um, and after three years being back, found out that Josh had the right to reopen a case here and try to get some kind of visitation and whatnot. Um, and at that point he went on and decided to sign his rights over um, so he did that and we did a, um, we did a, like a step parent adoption kind of thing, uh, cause somebody has to step up as the father figure. So we did that. And a lot of people, um, or I've, I've had questions if Louis is going to adopt the kids one day or what's going to happen with that. Um, no, Louis will not adopt Josh and Noah. Um, my father actually adopted Josh and Noah on Josh's part. Um, not on Josh, I was going to say Josh's behalf, but that's not true. Husband and Josh communicate or don't speak at all. Um, they do communicate. They don't speak like buddy buddies. 
Um, but they have communicated. They've communicated about Josh and Noah. Um, and the times, because there's been times where Josh um, had no transportation or whatnot and whatever. And they've communicated about that and have helped each other out on trying to figure out a good way for him to see the kids and whatnot. So they have a good good communication when it comes to that. Lewis tries to stay in between and try to understand where both of us come from. Um, but he, does, he doesn't try to get, like, truly involved unless things get out of hand. But anything else, they speak, and they, they probably speak better than me and Josh do. <laughs> um, Winnie Mill... Ugh. Mildor, Mil, oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Winnie asks, what do you do now since the sh show, school and career rise? Um, since the show, um, I have um, continued my education. I always promised to myself, um, since I was pregnant with Josh and Owen dropped out of high school, I had always promised to myself that I would go back and get my GD, which I did. I mean, I got that back in... 2011 um I started college I don't know sometime after <laughs> um sometime after but didn't do it full time until a few years ago so I'm getting my associate's degree in criminal justice and criminology and that I'm really excited about because I absolutely love the field um at first I wanted to be a lawyer um and now I am into the law enforcement field I was a correctional officer um, for, for a little bit, it didn't, I mean, I loved it, I loved it, loved it, loved it, and would love to go back to it, um, but it just did not work out with my schedule and my plan, um, with the kids and everything. I love being a stay-at-home mom, I love being there for my kids, so as long as my kids are young and are at home, that's where I want to be. I, I love it, and I'm content with where my life is at the moment. I'm almost done with school so that's really exciting um i'm taking classes this summer and in the fall and then probably next summer i'm not sure yet it'll either be next summer or next fall um i'm i've been in a rush so as long as it gets done i'll be proud of myself and um once it's done then i'll go on to my bachelor's degree um besides school and the law enforcement field I am a photographer. It's more like a hobby. I love it. Um, it's just something fun to do. So it's just awesome that like I get to go around and take beautiful pictures of just friends, kids, and their families and everything else um, and make some money on the side. It's nothing crazy. If it, If my photography did pick up and go nuts, that would be amazing too because like I said, it's a hobby, it's something else I love, um, and I can totally see myself doing if I decided just to stay home and not pursue my law enforcement field, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so Deb asks again, are you ever going to be on MTV again? No, I don't think I will ever be on MTV again. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I've thought about it a few times, um, and I, I just don't know. With the field that I want to go with and everything, probably not. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, I don't know. Probably a no. <laughs> um, Melissa asks, I'm not even going to try to say last names because I, I ruined them. <laughs> um, Melissa asks, how are your twins? They are great. Josh and Noah are six and a half now or a little over six and a half now they're going to be seven in october they just graduated kindergarten i'll have their vlog up hopefully by the end of this week <laughs> um but yeah i i can't believe it i can't believe they're gonna be seven i can't believe they're gonna be in first grade like it's insane insane michelle frere or frary <laughs> um she asks do you still live in Chicago? I do not. I am back in Tampa, Florida. I actually live right outside of Tampa um, in a small town. <laughs> not a lot of people know it, even people in Tampa. 
surprisingly. Never heard of my little town, but it's whatever. <laughs> yep, I'm back in Florida. I love Florida. I love, I absolutely, I mean, I love Chicago. Chicago is like my second home. I have family there. I will probably be taking a trip up there soon. But yeah, Florida, Florida is my home. That's where I belong. Shelly asked, how did I meet my husband? Facebook. <laughs> Um, Jennifer Richardson asks, do you miss being on TV? No way. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching this video and joining me on Facebook for my live Facebook events and giving me questions to answer and to update you guys on. Um, so thank you very, very much. I have a lot of very exciting videos coming up in June and July so make sure you guys go and press that subscribe button and to make sure you press the little bell to make sure you're notified because trust me guys you won't want to miss these next videos I have goosebumps just thinking about it <laughs> um so make sure you guys go subscribe thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye